Five players who are playing in Qatar that I would buy at Roma. Very, very simple, but first, I need your help. The winter season is coming. The freezing cold temperatures are coming. The glacial temperatures are coming. And Jamie over here is shrinking day by day, more and more. We need to save her. So everyone right now, smash the like button in this video and Jamie will be saved. Over the course of the second half of the season, we need your luck. So smash the like button. Let's try and get 100 likes and it would be absolutely amazing. And also smash that subscribe button if you're seeing my face on your screen for the first time. Right, let's get started with the first player who's Moises Caicedo. He's 21 years old. He's representing Ecuador in the World Cup and currently plays at Brighton. Now, let me tell you one thing. This guy is young has got so many potentials and is absolutely insane. Roma right now lack a versatile player. Roma right now lack an aggressive player because their midfielder is being composed by Matic and Cristante. Slow and unaggressive. They lack the tackles. Caicedo brings that. He's very fast on the ball. He's very, very versatile. He can turn into creative midfielder, into a box-to-box -box midfielder, and into a defensive midfielder in a matter of seconds. He's that gladiator that Roma needs in the city of Rome. It's as if this metaphor isn't completed. Nangalan completed it a few years ago, but Nangalan is not here anymore. And Roma lacks someone with the personality, with the mentality, with the aggression vibes of Raja Nangalan. And Moses Casado can be the one, let me tell you that. And also, let's not forget that now the Zerbi, Italian coach, being the Brighton manager, after Potter went to Chelsea, he can establish that good Italian link between the Serie A and the Premier League, and maybe one day he can bring Moises Caicedo to the Italian league. And let me tell you one thing, this league needs this man. Now, let's not forget that big clubs are interested, but Roma can sneak there. Thiago Pinto masterclass incoming. I would definitely buy Moises Caicedo, and that is why. He's my number one. Number two, I've gone with Justin Billo. He is the Netherlands goalkeeper. He's the Feyenoord goalkeeper. He's 24 years old. And let me tell you one thing. Roman need a goalkeeper after Rui Patricio. Rui Patricio is coming towards the end of his career. And mixed with this, he's also not having great performances. He never seems to be consistent. He kind of bottles it once in a while. And that's why Roman need a consistent, and an experienced goalkeeper like Rui Patricio is right now. But Rui Patricio will be sold in these next following years. And that's where Roma, the track, needs to look out for new goalkeepers. He's young and he knows what experience means by playing around all of these good players. He's got Van Dijk in front of him. He's got Cody Gakpo up front. He's got Bergvain. He's got very interesting players in the Netherlands national team. And obviously last season, he played a conference league final. So he's grabbing more experience day by day, month by month, year by year, until the day he was signed for Roma. He's also very good with his feet. And that's very much needed, seeing Roma's tactics, because most of the times, Rui Patricio passes it to Mancini, Mancini to Smalling, and Mancini and Smalling back to Rui Patricio. They just tiki-taka between the three defenders and the goalkeeper. And the second someone like Ibanez bottles it and loses the derby, then that's where you need someone with good feet. And Bilo is very good with his feet. Number three is Christian Pulisic. Captain America from the United States of America who's 24 years old. He's not getting enough game time at Chelsea. And frankly speaking, if Jose picks up that phone and goes, hey Captain America, the city of Rome needs your help. Christian Pulisic would leave everything he has and would walk from London to Rome by himself with his feet to reach Jose Mourinho. Well, that's not geographically possible because of the sea, but you get the point. Christian Pulisic would love an experience in Rome. He's played in the Bundesliga. He's played in the Premier League. He's played in World Cup matches. He now needs a Serie A experience. And he's got that Premier League experience. He bags the goals. He's very fast on the ball. He's very fast without a ball. He bags the goals and contributions. And especially one thing, he can be the decider of a really tight game. Now that's very important because most of the pairs we have don't decide games. There is never one time that in a nil-nil against Napoli, someone of our players decides the games and grabs the three points. 
Pulisic is the one who, by playing in the Premier League, knows how to change the dynamics of a game. And Christian Pulisic, to me, if you ask me, would love to come to Roma. This would also increase, keep on increasing the marketing, the branding of this team, the big project of Berfredkins. And, you know, if you buy Pulisic alongside some very other interesting players, the t-shirt sales will increase, money increases, and Captain America can happily say that his mission to Roma is completed. My second to last player is Edson Alvarez, who plays for Mexico and he's 25 years old and plays for Ajax. Now he's exactly what Roma need as a post Smalling, or even get him next to Smalling and then when Smalling retires, he's ready, doesn't need to adapt. And if he plays next to Smalling before Smalling retires, he can grab so much experience by learning to play next to Chris Smalling. Edson Alvarez, to me, is a player which Roma should buy. He is the defensive prune of the Mexican side in this World Cup. And he's tall, he's physical, he's good on set pieces. And let me tell you another thing. He's South American. They love Tiki Taka. They love playing with a ball on the beach. They love that touch. And same discussion as we were talking about with Bill or the goalkeeper, Roma need, need. Let me put this emphasis on need players who are good with their feet because of the tactics we adopt. Look at Ibanez. Yes, I know Ibanez is South American as well, but hopefully Edson Alvarez is, has got better feet than Ibanez. Because with the tactics that we have, we have to improve our Tiki Taka. And Edson Alvarez can improve the chemistry of the team, can improve the Tiki Taka levels of the team. And also we should exploit Ajax's way of running a club. What Ajax does is grow players, make them valuable, sell players, make a profit, and then restart all over with the good academy team that they have. They will end up selling Alvarez in the next couple of years, if not in the next couple of months. So Roma needs to get in there, because Edson Alvarez, to me, is my fourth pick of this video. And my last pick is Mikkel Damsgaard from Denmark, who currently plays at Brentford. Now, a couple of years ago, he was seen as a potential jewel of world football. He was seen as a little Paolo Dybala of Sampdoria in the league. He was special. He saved Sampdoria from relegation so many times. And then he fell in a black hole and now is slowly restarting his career at Brentford. He's 22 years old, he's very, very young. And Jose Mourinho is the best manager to have when it comes to dealing with young players. He's extremely creative, he's good at his feet, and that will lead to more contributions and more goals. So massive good luck to all of these players. And ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't already, please make sure to smash that subscribe button, smash the like button. Don't forget, 100 likes or Jemmy will not be saved. And if we don't save Jemmy, we don't have Jemmy in the second half of the season. And if we don't have Jemmy in the second half of the season, we'll lose. And if we lose, well, I'll leave it to you. So subscribe, smash the like button, follow me on Instagram over here, and I'll catch you very soon. And let me know in the comments what kind of videos, kind of like this, should I film over the course of this World Cup period. Simon, out.